Congratulations on your first jazz gig at that swanky new restaurant downtown. Too bad you only play electric and not upright. Well, good thing you saw this video, because otherwise you would have gotten vibed hard. <laughs> So the first way to make your electric sound like an upright is to play either a fretless or acoustic bass guitar. Now you can go DIY fretless and rip all the frets out of your electric, kind of like how Jocko did, but for most people this actually means purchasing a new instrument. Upright is both a fretless and an acoustic instrument, and so people like Irish bassist Ronan Guilfoyle take advantage of that and create a sort of hybrid with their instruments. Now I know this really isn't helpful because for most of us, we can't really afford to just buy another instrument. So what we're gonna do is actually for our second tip, we're going to play the bass with just one finger. Now basic upright walking technique involves plucking with the index finger or actually sometimes a combination of the index and middle finger uh, along the strings at about a 45 degree angle to get as much meat of the finger as you can on the strings. Uh, some electric bass players sort of take this advice and they play with one finger but also at a 45 degree angle so that their wrist kind of looks like a chicken wing sort of thing. Ronan Guilfoyle does this, Jeff Berlin does this, other bassists do this. Number three, use flat wound or better yet nylon tape wound strings. Our normal round wound strings sound great for most things but that sort of treble and that high end doesn't really blend with other instruments so well in jazz. Upright bass players actually normally play pizzicato with flat wound strings themselves, or if you're being a little bit more traditionalist with cat gut. I personally recommend Tomstick Infield's flat wounds. They are amazing, buy them, they are worth the $80. Number four, play over the fretboard with the right hand, or at least closer to the fretboard than where you would normally play. A lot of people actually do the opposite from this, and they'll play closer to the bridge with their thumb and palm mute the bass to sort of get a little bit more of the thump of an upright. But when you do that, you kind of miss an important element of how upright bass actually sounds. Upright's known for its unique ability to be felt rather than heard. And it has to do with how it projects sound once the strings are plucked. It's basically a giant 40 inch across speaker. Normally we're playing through what, 12, 15 inch speakers, but upright is a 40 inch speaker. And the low end really has a lot of time to project and coalesce into something really, really nice. Especially when you're trying to lock in with a drummer, it feels really awesome. When you play over the fingerboard on bass guitar, you're playing where the string has the least amount of tension, so it takes the most time for the sound to develop, therefore making it sound wider or deeper. It's not the same sound as on upright, but it goes a long way to achieving the same effect. Number five, use an octave pedal. Okay, so this is a little bit of a trade secret of mine. I use the Boss OC2 octave pedal with the octave down setting soloed to sort of emulate the sound of an organ player playing bass. When you're playing unaffected bass guitar, there are a lot of upper harmonics created for every note that you're playing. When you're playing with the OC2, or any octave pedal for that matter, you're mainly emphasizing the fundamental pitch rather than any upper harmonics, and it sounds more pure like a sine wave. This is kind of similar to how organ sounds when you're just using the lower stops, and it works really nicely for jazz. It's not upright, but it still sounds good. For an example of how all of this sounds, here are three separate approaches to walking bass lines using an electric bass. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little primer on getting an upright sound with the electric. Um, keep checking back at this channel. This is the second Adam Neely's Bass Lessons. Please subscribe, please like, please comment on whatever you'd like to hear next. I'd really like to hear from anybody out there on the internet. And until next time, this is Adam Neely. Peace.